Hey everyone, this is Myra from Sugarland Branch Library. Welcome to part one of our stop motion animation workshop. Today I'm going to show you how to make clay figures and how to design a set for your stop motion animation movie. Let me show you the materials you'll need. You will need some clay. This one is modeling clay. It works much better because it holds its shape longer. But if you only have Play-Doh, that will also work fine. Pipe cleaners or any other flexible material. This is optional, but it can add some movement to your video. A box and some scissors to cut the sides of the box. You will need art supplies to design your set background, like construction paper, pencil, paint, paint brushes, glue, and glitter. I'll mostly be using paper, and glitter, and glue to construct my own, but you can use anything you want when building your own set. We're gonna start off by making our characters for our movie using clay. You can make any characters you want depending on what movie you make, but I'm gonna make a little alien creature. Make sure you work the clay really well. And like I've mentioned before, if you don't have modeling clay like this one, you can use Play-Doh and it's much softer than this, but this is much better. Okay, I've made one solid shape and then I'm gonna start making the tentacles. If you're having trouble making a solid piece, you can use a table to help you roll it like this. And that way it makes it smooth. Okay. To make the tentacles, I'm just gonna pinch out some clay like this and just smooth it out with my fingers. Okay. Just do it all around. So you can use this technique if you're making animal creatures and you're making legs or a tail, just pinch out the clay like this and smooth it out with your fingers. It's very easy to do. And then keep smoothing the top. If you just rub it with your hand, like with your finger like this, it gets really smooth. The tentacles are done now, so I'm gonna add some details. So I can take little pieces of other colors and then roll it and press it on like this. And then I'm gonna do that all around with different colors. This is what it looks like with all the details on it. Now I'm gonna make the eyes. Take your pencil and poke some holes in the clay. Like this. Okay. And now you're gonna take some more clay and roll it into a small ball. and then insert it into the hole, like that. I'm gonna add a highlight to the eyes, just using a little piece of white clay on the side. Like that. Now I'm gonna add some antennae using pipe cleaners. Just cut off a little piece, like this. Make sure it's a little bit longer because it's gonna go in the clay. Okay. And then bend it a little at the top like this and stick it in. Do the same for the other side. Okay. So our creature is done. If you use a Play-Doh to create your creature, make sure you put it in a plastic bag so it doesn't dry out. But if you use modeling clay like this one, it won't dry out. Now we're gonna work on designing the set for your movie. The first thing I'm gonna do is cut one of the long sides of the box. Be 
Your box should look like this when you're done cutting. This is a set where all the magic is gonna happen. Now I'm gonna cover the box with construction paper. When you're done covering your box, none of the cardboard should be showing. This is what your box should look like once you've covered it in construction paper or painted it. Now I'm gonna add details to the background. My movie will be set in space, so I made these planets and stars for my set. Don't forget, your set can be anything you want, like the ocean or a jungle or a made up place. Now I'm gonna glue these to the back of my set and then show you what it looks like. Here's my finished set with everything glued to the back. And here are the clay figures. Stay tuned for part two where I show you how to use what we made today to make a stop motion animation movie using PowerPoint. See you next time.